could piperacillin be a Lyme disease breakthrough that we need? I'd like to look at a recent Northwestern study. Now the study took piperacillin. It was one of about 500 compounds that they looked at. When they gave piperacillin, it cleared Borrelia in the mice at 100 times lower dose than doxycycline. And doxycycline is something we know relatively well because it's the first line therapy for a Lyme disease. The study offered some cautious optimism, but I'd like to discuss this in context. Why piperacillin matters? A lower dose may reduce the side effects. It's a different mechanism. It's potentially helpful for resistant Lyme disease. Maybe it's good for children because children can't be using doxycycline after um, two weeks for younger children and uh, could uh, benefit patients that just don't get better uh, with doxycycline. The real world limitations though is the studies only in mice, not humans. The mice didn't have co-infections like Babesia and Bartonella. Mice are not a good model for chronic or neurologic Lyme disease. They can't explain their symptoms. Piperacillin is only intravenous, so it's not practical as an outpatient. It's usually three times a day of intravenous, which is both costly and uh, labor intensive. It's hard to have a life if you have to take intravenous three times a day. What we still need is we need human clinical trials of piperacillin if we're going to proceed. The research on chronic Lyme and co-infections uh, needs to be had. Uh, in this case, an oral formulation of piperacillin would be nice, although we don't have that on the market yet, or if it's possible. We need a symptom-based outcome in addition to just clearing the bacteria. We're, we're concerned about persisters that might uh, occur in uh, people and cause uh, chronic issues. And we overall need a better chronic infection model. So the final thoughts on this study is that piperacillin is promising but not proven. The results in mice don't guarantee it's going to work in people. But it is a helpful step to look for things uh, that might help people in the Lyme disease community. We need more personalized treatment, more effective options, and this encourages researchers to uh, work uh, for a cure for Lyme disease. So thank you for joining me.